Owen comes in with a CPU question regarding playing high frame rate games, and he wants to know. Hey Tech, I love the streams. I just got a 3080 used for 400. Is it worth it to get a 7800X 3D CPU for $150 more than a 12900K? I play 1080p, 360 frames a second uh, on eSports. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price, get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Well, that's an interesting question. Those of you who are fans of the channel, either on Bite Size Tech or Tech Deals, who know us and know my advice, will know what my standard response is going to be. The X3D chips, especially when they launch, are overpriced and not worth the money. The benchmarks most people see are because an RTX 4090 was tested on games at 1080p high detail, which nobody with a 4090 is doing, or you should not be in any case. However, everything has its place. It does. And his situation might very well be it. 1080p eSports, 360 frames per second is exactly what that chip is made for. That is the use case above all else. Mm -hmm. It does have small benefits with better 1% lows and some other things in some applications, but his use case screams via 3D chip. Now, here's what's frustrating. As we're recording this video, the 7800X3D is $400 at Amazon. It's yes. $50 off the launch price. Yay. It's not yet cheap enough to get me excited. If it were $350, i would be more interested. Okay. If it were $300, I'd be really interested. I would actually switch from a eh to a moo at $300. There's no bad products, there's just bad prices. The 450 launch price was not even a conversation starter. Here's the kicker. You can also buy an i9-13900K, 24 cores, 32 threads, for $430 today. It's true. Fun fact, the motherboards for a 13900K cost less than the AM5 motherboards. That is true. So too. those chips are the same price. In fact, the 13900K might be a tiny bit cheaper. They both run relatively hot. The 13900K runs a little hotter, maybe a little bit better cooler on the 13900K. Those two chips are effectively the same price. So here we have an interesting situation in our hands. You can buy for $400 an eight core, 16 thread chip, which in fairness will play esports games just fine. You, you don't need 24 cores for esports, that's absurd. Heck, you could live stream most esports games on an eight core chip just fine. But it's eight cores for 400 bucks and the future is coming fast. We're going to have higher core count chips very soon. AMD is releasing a 96 core thread ripper later this year, early yep. next year. I saw that. It's coming. I mean, it's, yep. it is. Mm -hmm. So that chip's gonna, cores. that chip is gonna age like hot milk on a Arizona afternoon. So don't drink that, by the way, that'd be really bad. So you could do it, but that thing isn't gonna be worth much in a couple of years. Nope. And you're spending a lot of money for a short-term solution and it just, it just kills me a little bit inside to see somebody spend $400 on an eight core CPU. It works today, but man, oh man, oh man. The 13900K, will be a little bit slower. I don't normally usually say that. Because at 1440p, high detail AAA games, yes. I'd actually rather have a 13900K than a 7800X3D. I'm tortured inside. You. Because he is the right use case for the 7800X3D. Price aside, if his goal is max frame rate, max average, max 1% low, lows. the 7800X3D is the right choice. But for the same money, you can have a chip that will last for a very long time with 24 cores and is really close. It's not, how pro are you? Oh. And then there's a question about the 3080. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. 
$15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. You know, for eSports, the 3080 is fine. If he's running Valorant at minimum detail, if he's running Rainbow Six Siege at low detail, CSGO, it's the 3080 is going to be fine. Even at 360 frames a second, it won't make it. The 3080 is fine. Okay. I'm happy um, with that. Yeah. Overwatch, Valorant, Apex Legends, Rainbow Six Siege, CSGO, Rocket okay. League will all play well over 300 frames per second at 1080p low detail on on those. I just, he f we found the one guy who should buy the X3D chip. It's just, do you need the last 10 or 20% performance? Let's say hypothetically that the 7800X3D beats a... A 13900K. I know we said 12900K, but we're just going to talk about the 13900K here because I wouldn't buy the 12900K at today's prices. The, the 13900K, let's say it only does 300 frames per second, but the 7800X3D does 360. But the 13900K will be good for the next five years. The 7800X3D will not. It's true. That is a personal choice. It, it is, is your money. It is. You do what you want. If you're okay with it short lifespan, go for it. Just be aware that you could give up a little bit of performance and have a much longer useful life of a CPU. But I can see why you would do that if that's your goal. Thank you very much for the question.